Hello everyone and welcome to another at Maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing form 4 chapter 2 quadratic functions Hotz question example 4. Okay before that please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay let me read the question. Given that fx equals to x square plus mx plus 5 equals to x plus n in a bracket square plus 11 over 4. So for the question part A, find the value of m and of n if m less than 0 and n less than 0. For the question part B, sketch the graph of the function fx. So this is the overall question. So I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. But if you can't solve this question, no worries, I'm going to show you the step by step working and the solutions. So without further delay, let us start to solve this question. Let us begin our discussion with the question part A where they ask us to find the value of m and n. Okay, so for this question what we are going to do is we are going to change this fx form into the general form and then we are going to compare with the one given by the question. Okay, so let us write down the function fx over here. So given that fx equals to x square plus mx plus with 5 okay so since this quadratic function the coefficient a is 1 so we can literally proceed to the next step by using the completing the square method okay so let us continue to the next step so from here fx is equals to x square plus with mx okay remember guys you need to divide with the coefficient of b and then you have to square it okay if you plus you must minus at the same time okay so plus m over 2 square okay and then minus m over 2 square plus 5 okay so this is the completing the square uh, method guys okay where you divide the coefficient of b and then you square okay so you have to plus and minus at the same time let us continue to the next step so this three expression over here we can reduce into one single quadratic factor where you can form x plus m over 2 square okay and then this expression you calculate you should get negative m square over 4 plus with 5 okay so from here these two uh, expression you can combine into one single fraction so from here you get your fx equals to x plus m over 2 square minus m square plus 20 over 4. Let me underline the fraction. So you might be wondering how I get this 20 here. So the 5 I times with 4 by forming a fraction guys so when i separate this you'll get back the original expression which is negative m square over 4 plus 5 so in this case i combine these two expression into one single fraction okay so that it will be easy for us to compare so let us proceed to the next step okay now we can proceed to do the comparison of two fx function okay this is the one that we uh, calculate in the working and this is the one that provided by the question so let us let us write it over here. Okay, fx is equals to x plus n square plus eleven over four. Okay, we can easily compare this eleven over four with negative m square plus twenty over four. So let us start our comparison with this, and then followed by uh, the axis of symmetry 
okay by comparison So from here, negative m square plus 20 over 4 will be equals to 11 over 4. Okay, let me underline the fraction. Okay, the denominator you can easily cancel them out. So you're only left with negative m square plus 20 equals to 11 okay this 20 you move it over to the right hand side so from here you get negative m square is equals to negative 9 okay the negative negative you can cancel them out so you only left with m square is equals to 9 okay let me write this properly so 9 when you square it you will get two possible values okay but then in this case they already give you the condition that m should be less than 0 okay so therefore you can only have one possible solution where your m can only be equals to negative 3 so this is your first solution let me underline this okay so once you get your m so now you can use this m equals to negative 3 and then substitute over here and you can later on compare with this okay so when m is equals to negative 3 so from here you can easily compare x plus okay, so it will become minus 3 over 2 and over here you have to compare with x plus n square okay so when you compare these two from here you can easily identify that your n is equals to negative 3 over 2 so this is your answer for the question part a so let me underline it okay this is basically through the comparison guys then you might be wondering okay why I just uh, write only the part of the function because I wanted to compare them okay so I hope you understand my explanation so from here let us proceed our discussion for the question part B okay for the question part B we're going to sketch the graph of fx but before proceed to the sketching part so let us substitute the value of m and value of the n into the two type of the fx form which is the complete form and the general form so it will be easy for us to gather the information later on so from here the first complete form of fx is equals to x square minus 3x plus with 5 okay let us continue the second form which is the general form fx is equals to x minus 3 over 2 square plus with 11 over 4 okay so the first step what we need to do is we need to gather all the relevant information okay which is the range intercept maximum or minimum point okay in this case they didn't give the range okay then we straight away proceed to the second one which is the intercept okay so let us proceed to the intercept let us begin with y intercept So to find the y-intercept, you set your x equals to 0. When x equals to 0, so from here you get f0 is equals to 0 square minus 3 times 0 plus it 5. So from here, you should get your y-intercept is equals to 5. Okay. So this is the first information. 
okay so once you get the y intercept let us proceed to find the x intercept okay however in this case we do have a problem guys okay whenever you try to calculate the x intercept okay you need to set your fx equals to zero so when there is a case where x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to zero when you try to perform the factorization you cannot uh, get the factorization okay even you try to press the calculator you don't get the solution okay what does this mean okay this mean that your x uh, intercept does not exist okay you don't have have a solution okay so in this case you can write here no solution okay this case is pretty similar to the case of b square minus 4 ac less than 0 okay that means that there is no real root okay so you don't have x intercept in this case so let us proceed to the last information that we need to find which is the maximum or minimum point okay in this case we are required to find the minimum point okay how do you know which it is minimum point okay, let us look at the coefficient of a the coefficient of a is positive okay so that indicate us that we need to find the minimum point okay so from here minimum point we can find it using the axis of symmetry and the minimum value so from here you should get 3 over 2 comma 11 over 4 okay so the x x x coordinate you get through here where x minus 3 over 2 equals to 0 and therefore you get x equals to 3 over 2 so that's how you get this 3 over 2 guys for your x coordinate okay let me erase this okay so once you get all this relevant information then we can straight away proceed to sketch the graph okay so from here let us uh, proceed to sketch the graph guys okay please hold on okay so this is how your final sketch should look like guys so let me scroll the question up okay that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question i hope you understand the full working that i've shown to you if you like this video please give your thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.